like we're live. Welcome lads and ladies to War Thunder. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to the channel and today I'd like to share something with you that I started doing before I started making videos and that <laughs> I love you chubbies is making custom camos. So uh, Tank Baby's playing in the background and we're looking at this Italian skin for the Spitfire uh, 5 Trop and you know it's just not doing anything for me so this is something I like to do is to just put my hands on the games that I play I like to mod games and I love that War Thunder allows you to make custom skins so with that let's get straight into it now uh, before we get started uh, my style is not going to be your style you know the way that I artistically do things is not going to be the same way that you do and when it comes to my custom skins they're kind of slapdash uh, I tend to just pull a bunch of things off of Google and uh, slap them together and call it good. Use some filters, but I don't do any real, like, uh, painting. You know, just more Photoshop skills. I used to do a lot of drawing, but it takes, like, three or four hours for me to get anything to get anything good. <laughs> and <laughs> any of you artists out there, can you relate? Uh, so this is just something I do to make the game a little bit more interesting. And uh, I don't have the time to make real quality stuff. And I really appreciate the people that do have the time and talent to make amazing custom camos. But me, I just do the memes. So uh, with that, let's get started. First thing you'll need to do if you want to make a custom camo uh, is pick the aircraft you want to do. So here we have the Spitfire Mark 5B drop. And you don't need to own the aircraft to make a custom camo for it. Uh, but... Here you go into Hi Javi. Maybe you do, well, you don't technically need to own the aircraft, but it's easier if you do. So this is the easy way. Go into customization, and here you'll see a tab right down here for user skin, uh, and you see that there's an additional option under disabled. I've already made a template, so you're not going to have that initially, but you'll slide on over to this right here, create user skin sample, and you click on that. And then you'll have this option here. And you'll see that for now, it looks the same. But remember that we're at, we're on this template here. So what is that referring to? In the game files, there is now a template for the Spitfire Mark 5B. So if we open up the game's location, and I'm going to this so that you guys can see where the game is if you haven't done this before. Uh, for me, it's a normal install, so it's in C drive. Program files, and then uh, and then where? <laughs> no, it's not in program files. That's right. Hold on, I'm gonna cheat. So I have I have a here. No, not there. So if you have a shortcut for War Thunder, actually this works. I think. Yeah, yeah, it does. So if you have a shortcut on your desktop for One Thunder, you can go to that. But here it tells me it's at C, Users, My Name, App Data, Local, War Thunder. So, okay. Let's do this. Open up Windows, C. Let's open up my computer, that is. Uh, users, Your Name, wherever it's installed. Then App Data, so we need Users. I don't, I don't see App Data here. Let's see. It's not there. Default user. That's weird. Um. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> it's great to be doing this live. Anyway, I'm gonna cheat. I don't. Uh, maybe it's an x86. Let's see. Audacity. Lame. Do. Yeah, 
it's hard to find your install file, but here's the cheat, right? So I used to be able to just find it on the PC, but I'm an old man. I got to do things the easy way. We'll just right click on our, on our link and go open file location. Bam. So now we're at the War Thunder file. War Thunder. And we were in the CDK. I jumped back into the War Thunder main file. And you're going to see a folder called User Skins. And the folders are arranged alphabetically. So just click in there and go U if you want to find User Skins. There you go. And look at that. I already have a few. So you know I know how it is. And here's our template. Spitfire Mark V B Italy. And it looks like Guppy needs to take a nap. So uh, I want to pause the stream real quick right here. We'll get that loading up. You want to you wanna mess with the A files. That's your like actual images. And then the N file is your textures. And I'm not going to mess with those because I'm not any good at, at messing with textures. But uh, let me... Let me put Tank Baby in for nap time, and I'll be right back with you by the time GIMP loads up. Okay, and if you hear her complaining, then uh, she's not dying. She just doesn't like taking a nap. <laughs> okay, so what is GIMP? This is a free photo editor. You can use Photoshop if you want to. So basically, you just need to have a photo editor. So what are we looking at here? This is, you see the underside of the wing. There's the oil cooling area. And then here is the right wing top, left wing top, uh, fuselage uh, right side from the pilot's perspective, and then left side. And then you've got tail planes, bottom. Where's the top of the tail plane? Right here. So you can sort of see where the pieces of the plane are. And the first thing I like to do when I'm making a new custom skin is add a couple of layers over here. And I don't label my layers, I just go by what I can see. Some people label their layers, that's fine. And let's check on the stream to make sure we're we're doing good. Did I not? Okay, there we are. Stream's looking good. And I already have some images picked out, so let's save those. Save image as in downloads and save huh. there we go somewhere save link save link save image yes there we go okay and like i said i just copy i just copy paste things from the internet because i don't have the time to invest in really drawing things out and doing a good job i just like things that look nice i do it for the memes so next thing i like to do is go to let's see is it tools or colors here we go so you go colors and this this is how you like broadly affect the colors of your plane so let's uh colorify and then we can pick a color scheme to set the color to maybe black and white maybe let's let's hold off on that for now yeah actually let's let's colorify it first i i've got a plan so we'll colorify with let's go with like a like a blue but then Okay, so that's that. There's hue. See, I still have to relearn everything. Why is that so grayscale? There we go. That looks pretty nice. Like a... Yeah. Okay. 
So that looks kind of drab, but the colors pop a little bit better in the game than they do on this uh, on this tone mapping because you will have your texture mapping as well. Um, and we could do more with this, you know. I I'd maybe swap out these rondels and and the insignia and and do some neat stuff with that. But this is just a quick, dirty job, so we'll move on. And then we can go to tools, I think. Or is it filters? Yeah, filters. Let's try edge detect. And let's just go with this one. And see what that does to the image? It makes it look like a like a neon drawing, basically. Let's try that. Well, that made things interesting, didn't it? Okay. Now we've got our top. I don't know, bottom, top, uh, hmm, hmm. At this point, I'm just kind of looking for inspiration. So, I think I can work with this, but first I need to invert these colors. There we go. Now it's looking more like a drawing. You see that? How we have the the details and the rondels they're a lot less in the way this is almost like a template if you took off the rondels and the insignia then this would start really looking like a template uh, obviously we've really messed with the file by now and some things aren't gonna come out looking right but I don't really care this isn't you know this is just quick and dirty so what should we do should we delete this kitty cat and put something else there uh... Ugh. Nah. We'll leave it the way it is. Do, do, do. So we've got some layers. Let's use them. So we go into our downloads that I already have open, and we just drag this into our layer, and it drops it into a new layer. But we might um, we might change that. So I went over to the opacity here. This is how see-through it is. So we'll set that to 65. Now we can sort of see through what we're doing. Hit M to move our... Oh, wait, I gotta click out of that. And then hit M so we can bring our move tool back up. Do you see what we're doing? Here's our underwing. Let's uh, let's leave that alone for now. And let's stretch this over the other wing. <laughs> Tank Baby is uh, voicing her discontent. So that looks pretty good. Let's... Whoa. That's a bit large. Okay. Doom do 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 doom do 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 doom do 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 Now let's select this bit here. That's also the body, so we'll want the whole, this whole section. We're sort of looking at our lines here to see what we're actually doing when we're selecting this. There we go. And then let's, this is where it gets tricky. So, Set that to 300 pixels, delete tool. Crud. Did too much. Control Z is undo. This is where my lack of skill really starts to show. <laughs> okay. So creating a, creating a custom camo takes pretty much as much time as you want it to. So now that we've deleted what we don't want for our wing, you see this outline of the wing here? We're going to... Let's, let's delete that part too every part that we don't want to copy over. 
You'll see what I'm doing here in a second. I would explain more, but I can't think and talk at the same time. Uh, it's a uh, it's a problem I have. Now we'll hide that layer, and we're going to our camo layer. See what we've done? And it's a little more bright than I want it to be. That's that's a little better. That's looking pretty good. Now we can sort of see what we're working with here. Okay. See what we've done? We just put a quick slapdash camo onto that wing. And we paste it down. And now we can select this on our camo layer. Copy paste and go to our flip tool flip it horizontally and move it directly over to the other wing okay you guys <laughs> you guys hear tank baby and then we'll paste that down okay so that looks that looks like something that's it's a thing that exists and now it's on our spitfire uh, we'll see how that looks actually we can do that right now so if we overwrite our template then it'll go directly on to this so we just refresh and there you go boys that looks that looks kinda neat a little bit washed out but but kinda cool in like a, doesn't this look like a like a model when you first get it and you haven't done anything with it I mean I don't it's been a long time since I messed around with a model, but it looks pretty good. My wife could be a model. She's so pretty. Okay, moving on. So you get the basic idea. We do our edits in our Photoshop, uh, GIMP, in the case of the program I have. And you basically do whatever you want. And you overwrite the file that you were editing. It's the A file. If you mess up, all you have to do is make a new one of these. right? So this is the quick and dirty way. Of making custom skins this is not the professional way it's just the way I do it and uh, we grab up our photos online we cut them in we cut them to the shape we want and uh, you'll learn to use these selection tools and, and copy paste and things like that that make things go faster it'll go a lot slower when you first start out and uh, then you need to save this file you overwrite the the regular here you can see it Spitfire Mark 5B Italy A file we overwrote it and then we're going to need to also overwrite this file over the a uh, underscore dmg file let me show you where that is so that's right here so this is the file we just saved this is the file we need to overwrite and there's different ways of doing this one way is to uh, rename this and then save this file over it another one is to just straight from here go file export as and then click on that right there that's the one you want to overwrite what's that going to do that's going to mean that when our plane gets damaged it has the same appearance as when it's not damaged and it's not the best way to make a damaged file but it is a way to make things not get weird when your plane gets damaged and like i said this is not the good way this is the quick way Anyway, guys, I'm going to check for any comments on the video. Looks like we got nothing. And we'll just, uh, we'll just save it there. I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to check on Tank Baby in just a minute to see how she's taking her nap. And for 20 minutes, that's not a bad way to, to see how to make a custom skin. And if things don't line up properly, uh, just move things around. Uh, you see I've got different layers here. So... If I want to say um, get rid of this layer and start over, let's see, it's this one actually. If I want to get rid of it and start over, delete the layer. There you go. Now we're back to our template. And because we're not doing any edits to this layer, we're doing it in our other two layers here. And if we need more layers, we can make more layers. Uh, we can always go back to this and start over. Uh, simple, dirty. Uh, is it the best way? Probably not, but is it a thing that works to where you can get your ideas down 
and uh, have something a little more interesting than whatever it is you started with. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. All right, guys, if you have any tips or tricks for making custom camos, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll leave this video up for a while so people can engage and let me know what they think. Looking forward to what you guys create, and uh, don't be afraid to try new things. All right, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Now, how do I kill this stream? Stream, it is time for you to die.